Hey guys, how are we doing? Today I'll be showing you how to wire in your diesel heater uh, through your 240 volts uh, to 12 volt converter. Um, it's very simple really, there's only a couple of wires on the actual unit itself. Uh, you've got a positive and a negative which connects onto the back here of your little unit and also we're going to need to find a three core wire um, to power basically the 12 volt converter. Okay, for my source cable, I've got one of these kettle style uh, adapters, which you might have from a, a kettle or um, perhaps some an old PC or something like that. Um, now, there are two and three core versions of these wires, so do make sure you've got three core. It mostly will say on the uh, somewhere on the cable there, it will say it's got three cores or not. Um, we need three cores because we need a positive, a live, and a neutral. No, hang on, live, ground, and neutral uh, cables basically to power our 12 volt uh, converter so let's strip this uh, plug wire down and see what we're playing with there it is well i need to strip this down and separate this i can see it's got three uh, wires just in there so i'm going to strip this down and expose some of the wire uh, so we can see exactly what we've got right so that's all stripped down and has exposed the separate cores in this um in this plug cable so basically what we've got we've got the brown one just there that is the live the blue is neutral and that yellowy uh, greeny one there will be the earth so i'm going to go ahead and strip the uh, ends of these cables off to expose some wire Okay, and then we've got our three exposed wires. I hope you can see that okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this onto the 12 volt converter. Uh, I'll show you where these go. Uh, it's all pretty self-explanatory. There's literally five wires you've got to connect, but you do need to make sure you get them in the right order. So uh, let's get onto that, shall we? So here we have our 240 volt to 12 volt converter. And you can see we've got this, grit, this uh, row here basically of nine terminals. Uh, half of these are output, or six of them, shall I say, are output, and three of them are the input. So three is the input wires that we've got just here. Um, and you can, I don't know if you can see there, it says L for live, neutral, and this one's got the little ground symbol just here. So this one's ground, neutral, and live. So I'm going to go ahead and wire that in. This one will be brown, live, blue, neutral, and green, yellow for the ground. Let's get on with it. Okay, live is brown. Let's bung that in there. Tighten it up. Okay, next up we need the blue, which is the <clears throat> N for neutral. Okay, so this one will go in here. Let's just make sure that's squaring off there. Nice and tight, not too tight, but make sure they can't pull out because uh, you don't want these touching each other. <laughs> right, and the last one, uh, the green and yellow, which is the ground. So let's get that in there nice and snug. Right, that's not going anywhere. And that is what it should look like. Let's get it in focus. Brown for live, blue for neutral, and the greeny yellow one in this little one here, ground. Right, let's concentrate on the output now. So now we're at the business end of your diesel heater and you can see you've got two output cables here. The black one here is the negative, the red one here will be the positive, and you've got some little clips on there, you can unscrew that and take it off. Uh, but we're gonna make sure that's nice and snug on there. Okay, and on the end of this cable, uh, you've got the, the opposing ends of the wires, really. Uh, so this one will be negative, and the red one, again, will be the positive. Now, these uh, 
clips here are going to be too big to uh, fit onto my little device just here. So I'm going to clip the ends of these off to expose the wires again, exactly the same as we did with the three core cable. So let's do it. Now we've got these two wires exposed. What we need to do is get them wired into this uh, unit just here. So you can see if I flip this down, this just basically covers up the wires so nothing can touch the terminals uh, and cause any whoopsies. So we've got three terminals here on the left hand side of positive and three just here. Uh, you probably can't see that, but there's three here and they're negative. Uh, you've got negative just there, positive there. The lighting's rubbish. Let's have a look. There you go. Positive and negative. Okay, so as long as your positive is in one of these three left hand side ones you'll be cool as long as your negative is in one of these three you'll also be cool so uh, i'm going to get on and bang those in there Always get a little stray piece of wire. Come on, play ball. Okay, can you see that? Right. Black wire in the negative, nice and snug. And all the way left with here is basically this red cable just here. So this is going on the far left here. Make sure it's all nice and. Uh, nice tight wound there okay and let's just tighten this up and that is the wiring complete so you've got three on the right hand side here from your uh, plug mains plug and the positive and negative which go onto your chinese heater it really is that simple Okay, and now the moment of truth. We've got my uh, 240 volt to 12 volt converter all wired in and connected to my diesel heater and my three pin plug. If I plug this in, this should fire into life. Let's see how this goes. Have I done it properly? Yes, all good. And it says the input there is 12 volts, which is perfect. That's just how you want the uh, input to be 12 volts. Um, incidentally, I don't know if you can just see on this circuit board down here, you've got a little uh, orange dial. Um, you can tweak that and by turning that left uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise, you can adjust the output uh, uh, voltage. It will go probably to about 10 or 14, between 10 and 14 volts. Uh, so 12 is bang on. So uh, I'm now ready to get some diesel in here and check out my new heater. Thank you very much for watching. If you found that helpful, do like and subscribe um, and if you're also wondering how to set these up in the first instance there's lots of pipe work that comes with these things uh, if you're wanting to know how to fit all that stuff look at my previous video where I had taken an in-depth look into how to fit all that sort of stuff and uh, get it all ready for the electrics thanks for watching catch you later just quickly before I go, uh, I mentioned it in my last video and I'll mention it again. If you're messing about with diesel heaters, they do give off carbon monoxide fumes. So do get yourself a carbon monoxide detector and alarm. Learn how to use it because you cannot be too safe when there's carbon monoxide about. Okay, thanks for watching.